right, Mount Shasta City Park. What's mm. going on? That's one of the quickest interviews ever. I'm Jeremiah. Hey, I'm Sean Paul. Sean Paul. What's going on? Talk to me. I mean, life is really awesome when you remember about the breath. It's about slowing down, listening. The word listen has the same letters as silent. The word stillness it says in the letters of word magic, it says sit still, listen, silent. Now check this out. This is the, the breath of forgiveness. So in order to be BE, in order to be, we have to have a conscious breath. Now the B is at the beginning because it's the first thing that we ever did in life. We we inhaled and then we ate and drank at the same time. And the E is at the exhale. I mean the end, the expiration, the exit. Yeah. It's the last thing that we do the in The beginning life. and the end. Yeah, it's the first and the last, the breath. It is the main ingredient. How do I say it? On Earth, they say that water, salt water covers 70, 80% of it. But guess what? In and out, 100% oxygen, air, covers everything. So we start to eat the breath. It's prana. And B-R-E-A becomes the first four letters of bread. And then A-T-E-R, the last four letters of water it's word magic it's pretty cool so the bread then becomes the bread and water of life that suppress and quench all spiritual hunger and thirst slow down breathe and when we sit down and we root and ground ourselves with the breath we start to h-e-a-r hear the earth heart beat it even says be at here wow. in the moment now under yeah. forgiveness. No way. Yahweh, actually. Noah's way is Yahweh. <laughs> so, un under forgiveness. Forgive, F I R E. Forgiving becomes spiritual fire. And when we become forgiven, how do I say? B O R N A G A I N V I R G I N S. Born again virgins. Wow. Re birth the breath of forgiveness, it's spiritual fire. That's the basic message I've been sharing with people. Uh, yeah, even in the word breathe, it says hearth, which is where the fire is located. So when we breathe, we don't just breathe bread, we don't just breathe water, we breathe fire too. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's powerful. Empowering. Fasting and prayer is a real thing. And this is that what you do when you focus. It's like water and fire get together, and guess what, it creates steam, but steam can move trains, locomotives, but when we focus steam, we can actually cut through steel. When breathing, be sure to do nostril breathing. Uh, people mouth breathe a lot, and they also mouth breathe with words, then they don't even know what they're wordsing about, and it's dangerous. Uh, so yeah, I'm just... <laughs> yeah. There's a quote, uh, uh, smart people is, no, never mind. I was, I'm doing it now. Word, no, well, I was going to say, uh, we have two lips and three eyes and one mouth, so we should always, like, observe three times as much as we speak, and when we observe the heart, H-E-A-R-T, it says ear right in the middle, you hear these people always talking about these third eyes, but I've never heard one person ever mention the third ear. So therefore, we must listen three times as much as we speak. And when we observe the word listen, it says S-I-L-E-N-T. In full circle. This is what I need to hear. This is so perfect. It's what everybody... Uh, this, as you came over, hey, can you say stuff on film? Like, I loved it. God's going to say a lot of things through me. Literally, that's the first, the fastest I've ever gotten someone to agree without any pre cut, with no context. I don't, I don't need it. I think that's my new strategy. Do you want to talk about life on camera? It was perfect. Yeah. And I was like, absolutely. That's so cool. Yeah, and then remember, be beautiful because, you know, be you till full. What do you do when you're full? You overflow the beauty. You do it with gratitude and appreciation. Just the littlest amount of gratitude and appreciation brings that 
abundance, that excess, that plenty and plethora, and it overflows. And what do we do when we're overflowing? We have no choice but to give, and it makes us feel really good. Because when we put smiles on people's faces, it puts a smile on God's face, and then God's like, oh, here's some more spiritual wealth. And here's so great. So enjoy. Blessed. Mm. So if you could give some final words, some final pieces of advice. Mm, all right. I don't like adding vices. I like to remove them. And so four words to move forward. Four words to move forward with is never forget to forgive. We've been forgiven a new life. We've been accepted radically. And we are here for service, helping, and giving. We serve not to survive. We're already surviving with the breath. God's grace is mercy. And so we serve in order to thrive, actually. And we help ourselves to the abundance through gratitude in order to give because we've been forgiven. Wow. God bless you through Christ, through me. All glory to God. <sighs> Good stuff. Thank you so much, brother. And when you thank me, you're only thanking my obedience. God bless you. God bless you all. <laughs> Heck yeah, nice to meet you. That's so cool.